Hello everybody and welcome back again to another episode of Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft Journey to Legendary. So, last episode I believe we tried out the Hunter deck more. We may have tried out the Shaman, however. I'm not quite too sure, I haven't played in a while. But guys, it is finally summertime, as all of you know. Usually, that would mean that a YouTube channel would be coming out with a lot of episodes in the near future. However, in my case, I'm actually going to be gone from about mid-June to mid-July. So I'll see if there's a weekend where I could post a couple videos at once. But there's going to be some weeks where there are no episodes. So I am sorry about that, guys. But I'll, I'll for sure have some, some future episodes ready. I've been recording in advance. Um, so this episode may be coming out in those weeks of no videos, but um, we'll, we'll face that challenge when it comes, but for now, right now we are grinding out money for Curse of Max Ramus. <clears throat> right now our goals are Hunter or Mage, Paladin or Warrior, Rogue or Warrior. So I'm going to re-roll the Hunter or Mage because I think we're going to play Warrior this episode, try to complete both of these. And we're going to get Druid or Rogue, so we can't get all three of them. Uh, but since we do have two quests with the Warrior, we are going to get into this. We are in the 22nd uh, rank, of course, because the season reset us to, I think, the 23rd rank. Um, so we're just continuing here, trying to get below 20 again so we can get those new card backs. But looks like we're already matched up here. It always lags like this whenever you match up with an opponent. But yeah, just like it says here, if you achieve rank 20 in a season, you'll earn that season special card back. So we gotta get this to rank 20, which should be easy, because if we win two games in a row, I think we get it. Because I think we are on a win streak, but I'm not quite too sure. But going against a warrior here, we always want to be cautious. Uh, we got our new card here, Shield Slam. Deal one damage to a minion for each armor you have. That can be really useful. Uh, but Storm and Champion and Arathi Weaponsmith are going to get mulliganed. We're going to keep Shield sl Slam and Slam for some early removal. We got Acidic Swamp Ooze. That's pretty good. <coughs> Not a lot of hunters run Eagle Horn Bow, but he might. We'll see. Usually Beast Hunters don't, um, but Aggro Hunters can, Control Hunters do. Uh, so we'll just have to see how this guy plays. And... Elven Archer, that's an interesting start. I'm not too worried about killing it. It's not a threat. Um, we could coin out Loot Hoarder. It does just trade. It does trade with the Elven Archer, but I like getting the card draw from it early on. So we'll go ahead and coin that out. I'm expecting him to trade here and maybe a hero power up. But we'll see what he does with two mana. I think things are looking really good for us this season. We've got a few decks now with the Warrior, the Shaman, and the Hunter. I think all of them are really strong for us. We pull a Stormwind Champion, which isn't going to help us too much, but really it's this next draw that could help us a lot. But as of right now, while I am recording this, there is no release date for Curse of Naxxramas. When this comes out, there might be, so... Um, don't count me on that one, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and play Acidic Swamp Boost right here, just because I think it's the best. I think it's better than armoring up. Um, if he does have a weapon, then of course that of course that kind of sucks. But um, oh well, Acidic Swamp Boost is a card that I really really value. I really really like um, what it does. We'll see what he does here. He could just hero power. This guy is taking kind of long on every one of his turns. Yep, he's just going to hero power, so he doesn't have Eagle Horn Bow, which is good. So, Acidic Swamp Ooze was technically the right play there. Iron for Grizzly is a great top deck here. Um, we'll see what he has for 4 mana. We don't have too many minions on the board, so Unleash the Hounds doesn't do anything. And we had the coin, so he can't coin into that buzzard unleash the hounds combo 
And this guy has the basic card backs. There's Timberwolf. Maybe he does have. Oh no, Animal Companion. Four, five, two charge. Okay. I'm honestly fine with that because he just trades here. That's a great trade for me. Hunter's Mark. He's gonna Hunter's Mark the Iron Fur. Really? Wow. Cleave would have been a really nice card to draw. But here, we could shield block and shield slam the Huffer. I don't like slam because it doesn't draw us a card. And we can't kill, I guess that's why he did Hunter's Mark. We can't kill the Timberwolf with the Iron for Grizzly now. But honestly here, I think we shield block and then shield slam the Huffer and send the Ooze into the... Uh, Timberwolf, but we'll see what we draw here from shield block. Shattered on Cleric. I am going to shield slam that. Kill that and send three to the face. I think that was a good play because we have a card advantage now because of shield block. We have a health advantage. We have board control. Things are looking good for us right now against this hunter. Unleash the Hound, Starving Buzzard would be okay. Booty Bay Bodyguard isn't going to do too much because we do have Slam. We do have Arcanite Reaper as well, but I think Shattered Sun Cleric is actually really, really valuable here. Um, so let's bump up the Acidic Swamp Ooze and we'll just armor up. But that'll allow us to kill the Booty Bay Bodyguard and send three more to the face. And we've got a pretty good hand too. Slam. Arcanite Reaper, uh, Stormman Champion in the future. We also have Corcoran Elite and Execute. So if we ever get in a tough situation with a huge minion, we can get the Slam Execute combo, which is really good. Kills it for three mana and we draw a card. But we'll see what he does here with six mana. He could Savannah High Main, um, in which case I would probably... But I slam execute it. But maybe he doesn't have Savannah High Main because it is a rare card, so we'll just we'll just have to see. This guy's deck doesn't look too advanced. He's taking a long time with his plays. Come on, dude. Of course we do have the Black Temple card back. He's going to Okay, he's gonna Arcane Shot the Grizzly and then tracking. Um, that will allow him to get a little bit of a better hand. Arca he's going to pull the arcane shot. And hero power. Well, now I think, I think we have tremendous control right now. Because we have a huge card advantage. A health advantage. Our hero power cancels his hero power out. Um, here we're going to... Well, we have a couple options. I don't like Arcanite Reaper in this situation, so we could just Sengen Shield Master and armor up, or we could Corcoran Elite and armor up. I'm going to go a little bit on the offensive here, because that'll take him down to just 17 health. And I think our, uh, our health is enough that we don't absolutely need a taunt out there. So we could play him next turn, or we could play Storm and Champion next turn. But we'll see what he does with 7 mana. This warrior deck is looking really strong, especially with that uh, shield slam. Uh, Mad Bomber is going to hit him in the face once, hit Cork on Elite, and hit me in the face once. So that was okay for him. That's kind of weird that he has Mad Bomber in a Hunter deck. It's usually not really good in a Hunter deck, but he's going to charge the Cork on Elite. That's pretty good. Here with seven mana, we can execute the Tundra Rhino. That would leave us with six. Then we could send in Shield Master and Fairy Dragon. I, I kind of like that. I think Arcanite Reaper is kind of a waste here. Well, let's get some more board presence since he doesn't have much of um, much of an ability to get a card advantage because. He could have the Starving Buzzard unleash the combo in his hand right now, which would allow him to draw a little bit, but 
it wouldn't do too much to the board. It would just allow him to draw a couple cards. I think we're playing this game against this hunter really well, though. I love this griffin thing. I don't know. I don't really get the theme of this of this field, but that tundra rhino was pretty valuable for him. But fortunately, we had execute to take care of him. He's gonna multi shot. That's pretty good. And Starving Buzzard. That may be worth slamming, but we shall see. Corcoran Elite. Okay, I think we Corcoran Elite, then slam it. We're not going to get the card drop, but that's okay, because I want that Starving Buzzard off the field. We have 31 health, he has 12. And I think that's pretty much game for him, because we have Arcanite Reaper in hand, which is a tremendous amount of damage. And he's just going to hero power, and that's it. Wow. Okay. So, we could shield block and Stormwind Champion, or we could shield block and Arcanite Reaper. Regardless, we're going to shield block, so let's go ahead and do that first. We're going to get a Chillwind Yeti. I say let's just bring the pain, take him down to 3 health. If he doesn't do anything, he's dead. Um, if he doesn't taunt or heal, he is dead because of my weapon. I think that's game. This guy is taking so long with his turns, though. I don't. He's got two cards. Can't be much decision making here. What could that be? That could be a kill command? I don't know. Yep. Well, that's not going to do anything. That's game. Well played, man. We're going to start off this episode with a win against a hunter that took forever. Um, oh, we're not on a win streak. Okay, but we are ranked 21. Level 15 with the Warrior. That is our first golden card, finally. And we're definitely going to have to put that in this deck real quick. Um, and we are one game closer to getting about 80 more gold. Which will be very, very nice in saving up for our Curse of Naxxramas wings. So we're going to take out that Heroic Strike for the gold one. I could take out the Slam for another Heroic Strike. We don't have Cleave in this deck, but I like Heroic Strike better than Cleave. <clears throat> I'm kinda iffy on this, the one Acidic Swamp Ooze and one Fairy Dragon. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. We only have one Fairy Dragon, but the question is, is, is Acidic Swamp Ooze better because it'll give us another opportunity to, to destroy another weapon. Or is Fairy Dragon better because it can't be targeted by spells or hero powers? It's an interesting choice. I'm going to keep it one and one. Um, and also another question is, do we run Iron Beak Owl in this deck instead of Spellbreaker? We do, there are a lot of four mana cost minions. Also, I kind of really like Arathi Weaponsmith. Getting another one of him would be awesome. Leave your comments down below what you guys think about how that, how those decisions should be run. But we're just going to play a second game here and then we'll be done. Hopefully it'll be a win because then we'll get another 80 gold and be over 600 again. I'm not going to be opening a pack because um, I do believe I did last episode. It may have been two episodes ago, I don't quite remember. Uh, but it was the pack opening that we did get Shield Slam and Savannah High Main, I believe. Which is absolutely terrific for our Hunter deck. But we're going against a Priest, which this Warrior deck is really, really good against. Going first, I'll keep Shield Slam and Shield Block because that has a really good combo. And it draws us a card. Shattered Sun Cleric isn't too good. I would much rather have a Fairy Dragon here. Uh, Fire Wax is good though, early on. I could Fire Wax a North Star Cleric if he puts it down. No. Okay. Two mana here. I'm just going to armor up, honestly. I could have Fiery Waxed, but I kind of want to save that for 
a different minion that he could put down here, like a fairy dragon, or or he could have he could have um, acidic swampus. There's probably a really good chance that he has that. Holy smite! So interesting. Usually you would play that on a minion, but I'm not telling him wrong here. We're just gonna shield block, draw another card, cork on elite. That's good for next turn. We'll see what he does with three mana. Of course, this hunter deck is very, very good against priest decks because we have so many four attack minions with Corcoran Elite and Chillwind Yetis and um, Arathi Weaponsmith. Wow, this is an interesting deck. Four mana here. We're just going to Corcoran Elite and send four to the face. Plain, plain and simple. He can't kill it with one of his Shadow Words. But like I was saying, Arathi Weaponsmith, we could pump up with a Shattered Sun Cleric. So we do have many opportunities to get uh, minions to four. Four health. Here with five mana. Arcanite Reaper is really good top deck. We can just go ahead and kill that Sinjin and send four to the face. We also could have Shattered Sun Cleric, the Corcoran Elite, to kill it. But I kind of liked Arcanite Reaper just a little bit better there. Because then we we sent four to the face, of course. And that would also put Corcoran Elite in the danger zone of a Shadow Word Death. Because it is five attack. So, kind of some interesting calculating coming from, from this game. But he's going to coin into his hero power. Well, I will be um, Arcanite Reapering that thing. Here, this is going to be an interesting play. I'm going to Iron for Grizzly, then Shadowed Sun Cleric the Iron for Grizzly. Because then he can't get Shadow Word Pain. And we will kill that and send four more to the face. We are at 23 health, but that's pretty standard. Um, obviously, I'm using my health as a resource to get board control, which could go good for me or bad. But obviously, he didn't have Acidic Swamp Ooze, or he definitely would have played it. Shadow Word Pain. So yes, he would have Shadow Word Pain the Iron for Grizzly if I didn't make it a 4-4. So kind of some interesting strategizing against a Priest, but I kind of like play playing Priests with this deck. I feel really confident with this deck against Priests. Next turn we could Arathi Weaponsmith and then bump it up to a 4-4, of course. Is he just going to heal here and that's it? If so, we can bring the pain this turn. Fairy Dragon is interesting, but let's Arathi Weaponsmith. We'll bump it up to a 4-4. We'll send 8 to the face. And I'll send I'll send two more. I've got Fiery War Axe if I need it, so I'll go ahead and use this weapon. We've got huge board control. All of them with great. Shadow Word Pain. There's the, there's the Shadow Word Pain again. So we are dodging these. Um, I'm fine with him doing it on the, on the Shattered Sun Cleric. But North Shark Cleric is a great target for Fiery War Axe. Or if I draw a Shield Block, I'll go ahead and Shield. Oh, he's just gonna give up. Well played. I may have had lethal on board too. I think I did actually. But win streak is going to put us in the 20th rank. And we are going to get 80 gold for those two wins. Thank goodness this warrior deck is so good. Or at least it is early on. Um, like through 25 through about rank 18. It's so, so good. Uh, but we have 17 total play mode wins now. Uh, we still have only done one arena, which we went 6-3. and three. But we managed to get the warrior to level 15. Next episode we may be doing... Uh, no, I'll probably be re-rolling this because I don't have either of those decks. But, wow, our total level is 98. Very close to 100. But next episode we will be playing with more decks... In, um, in accordance to our quests, because of course the quests are what get us money to buy packs or Curse of Naxxramas Wings. So, 
Next episode I may open a pack or two because 650 gold is a tremendous sum. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.